everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with my Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint here to do a video showing you how to install the AOKP Milestone 6 ROM on your Epic 4G Touch. Uh, very excited to install this ROM, but let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, you're going to need to make sure you have a custom recovery installed on your device, specifically a safe custom recovery. Um, if you have followed my video on how to install Clockwork Mod on FF18, then you should be good to go. You can use that recovery, which is what I'm going to use. Um, if you are familiar with installing a gingerbread kernel, the EL26 kernel with Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 or uh, the EL29 uh, repack kernel of 5.0.2.7 as well. You can use those as well. And what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to this site. First of all, big shout out and thanks to Times Infinity for putting this round together along with anyone else involved. Again, you'll see unofficial AOKP milestone six. Uh, what we can do is scroll down and make sure to read uh, this post. I'll be going over things about this in my review video, so be sure to watch that review video. Anyways, go ahead and scroll down. Scroll down, you will see downloads right here. Uh, go ahead and it says get the latest build here, click on that, um, and then you will click on this ROM zip. This would be the ROM itself. And then you will also need to download the G app. So go ahead and click on where it says G apps and let that download as well. So again, you need to click and download those two zip files right there. Latest build here, click on that, download the ROM zip, G apps, click on that, let that download as well. Transfer both of those zip files over to your device, whether it be internal or external storage, just transfer it on over. Once those zip files are on your device, you can go back to your phone. But uh, again, just make sure you're, you are on a safe uh, recovery and you are safe to install ROMs with it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, again, you gotta power off your device because we're gonna need to get into whatever custom recovery you are in. All right, once your device is powered off to get into our custom recovery, you're gonna wanna press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Press and hold until the Samsung screen lights up. Once it lights up the Samsung screen, go ahead and let go. Uh, but as I said, takes you into the custom recovery. Again, this is the safe recovery to install uh, from FF18 that I was uh, that I do have a video on from a get recovery. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So first of all, I highly recommend making a an Android backup. So go ahead and go to backup and restore. Use the volume up and down to navigate, power button to select. So go to backup and restore, make an Android backup to, or uh, backup to internal SD card, whichever one you want. But once you make the Android backup, you're ready to go. Go ahead and go down to wipe data, factory reset. This is gonna wipe everything, your contacts, apps, etc. So make sure you have uh, everything backed up that you do need. Let's so go ahead and hit yes, delete all user data. Again, that's gonna go ahead and wipe your data. Take a bit of time, so uh, be patient with that. All right, once the data wipe is complete, go ahead and go down to wipe cache partition, and then go ahead and hit yes, wipe cache. It'll go ahead and wipe your cache. Once that is done, go ahead and go down to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache. And then go ahead and hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And once done there, hit go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card. Wherever you have put those uh, two files, that ROM zip and those Google Apps add-ons as well. So go ahead and hit choose it from internal SD card or external wherever you have it. And then go ahead and navigate to wherever that file is, that AOKP ROM file. Again, um, it should be called AOKP Epic 4G Touch Milestone 6, depending on the version you are running. Uh, go ahead and select it, and then hit yes, install. So go ahead and install the ROM file itself first. That will uh, take a bit of time, so again, you're gonna need to make sure you be patient with that ROM install. I'll be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. The ROM is done installing, but we need to install the G apps add-on, the Google apps add-on. So go ahead and go back to choose it from SD card, and then find those Google apps add-on, the G apps, ICS, uh, I believe it would be 2012-04-29 signed uh, zip. And then go ahead and select that G apps add-on and hit yes, install. It'll go ahead and install that Google apps add-on. It will take a bit of time to install, not as long as, uh, not as long as the ROM, but it will, uh, take a little bit of time to let that install. All right, and install from SD card complete. Those Google apps are now done installing. Now just go ahead and hit go back and reboot menu and reboot system. And there we have it. So it's gonna go ahead and reboot our Epic 4G Touch. And once it boots up, we will be running that AOKP Milestone 6 ROM on our Samsung Epic 4G Touch. So let it load on up. 
Um, you'll see, got that nice AOKP boot animation. Uh, other than that though, I'm gonna be doing a separate review video of this ROM, so definitely be sure to check that out. I'll link to it in the description of the video. Uh, be sure, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, uh, the first boot up is going to take a little bit longer than usual since it is a clean ROM install, but subsequent boot up should take shorter time. So just be patient with that first boot up.